Well, it's a first in the Democratic race for president. A new poll showing Bernie Sanders at the head of the pack. This national CNN survey shows Sanders in a statistical tie with Joe Biden, but he enjoys a wide lead over Elizabeth Warren and Pete Buttigieg. WBZ's John Keller takes a look at what a Sanders nomination might mean for the Democrats. It will finally include dental care. Hearing aids and eyeglasses. But you don't. Know second that. of all, you don't know that. Second Bernie. of all, we'll come to you in a second, I do know, and I wrote the damn bill. First, the good news: no candidate is more passionate about their beliefs or draws more fervent support from their base. And polls show his blunt populism appeals to young voters and some of the alienated who abandoned the Democrats for Donald Trump in 2016. If voters are hearing the same message from you and President Trump on the issue of military intervention, how should they expect that you will be any different from him? Trump is a pathological liar. I tell the truth. Now, the bad news. But taking their cues from socialist Bernie Sanders, AOC, all these people, liberal lawmakers are pushing a government takeover of health care that would strip 180 million Americans of their private health insurance. For the Trump campaign, Sanders is a made-to-order opponent, burdened by fallout from his at times bitter campaign against Hillary Clinton. For Democratic primary and caucus voters this year, having a strong chance of beating Trump is much more important than a candidate sharing their views on big issues. And when the pollsters ask who has the best shot at defeating the president, Sanders struggles to draw half as well as the race's best-known centrist, Joe Biden. Now, there's a long, long way to go, and 58% of those polled by CNN say they might change their minds about who they support. And while a Sanders win in Iowa might be the start of something big, it might also spark a New Hampshire backlash.